Hello, I'm the Mushy Mr. Daycock, and today I'm going to be giving you an example of solving a differential equation with an integrating factor to get a particular solution. And this is the example that we'll be going to be going through. Find the particular solution of the differential equation dy by dx plus 2x cot of x squared y equal to 2x, given that y equals 0 when x equals the square root of pi over 4. Okay, so as always, we'll check it's in the right form. Is it in the form of dy by dx plus p of x y equal to q of x? And the answer is yes, it is, with p of x equal to 2x cot of x squared. So what we need to do is we need to do the integral e to the power of the integral of 2x cot of x squared dx. Obviously we'll ignore that e for now and we will just focus on the 2x cot of x squared dx. And to deal with this I am going to be using a substitution of x squared equal to u, which will then give me that du by dx is equal to 2x, and then rearranging that, I get dx is equal to 1 over 2x du. And now plugging all that in, I'm going to end up with the integral of 2x cot of u, because x squared is u, and then dx is 1 over 2x du. These two x's are going to cancel, and now we're just dealing with the integral of cot of u du. Which is actually not too bad, because it's actually just the same as the integral of cosine of u, not x, let's get that right, over sine of u du, and this is a derivative over original function situation, and this is equal to the natural log of sine of u which is the natural log of sine of x squared. And don't be tempted to bring that power of 2 out using log law because Unfortunately, that power of 2 is not inside the thing the log is affecting. It's inside the inside the thing the log is affecting. And so um, our log laws don't apply. But that tells me that we're working out our integrating factor is equal to e to the power of the natural log of sine of x squared, which is just equal to sine of x squared. And so... We're going to apply that integrating factor and we get multiply both sides by the integrating factor and we get sine of x squared times by dy by dx plus sine of x squared multiplied by 2x cot of x squared y is equal to 2x times by sine of x squared. Notice I've multiplied every single part of that by sine of x squared. But, of course, the great thing here is, the whole point is that this side, when we integrate it, that whole left-hand side will just integrate to sine of x squared. Why? Because that's the point of finding the sine of x squared as our factor. And if you're not sure about that, if go back to my previous videos and have a look at how I justified that, how that works. So that just leaves us with sine of x squared y equal to the integral of 2x sine of x squared dx. But by doing another u substitution or reverse chain rule, our u substitution will be u equals x squared again, we will find that that's the right hand side will integrate to just negative cosine of x squared plus c. And now we can just do a quick rearrangement and we'll end up with 
y equals two, so divided by that sine of x squared, y equals c divided by sine of x squared is going to be c times by cosec of x squared, and then cosine divided by sine is cot, cot of x squared. But this was a particular solution. We're looking for a, this is here is a general solution we've got right now, and we're looking for a particular solution. So we need to apply our initial condition of that when y that y will equal zero, given x equals root pi over four. And we're going to plug this back, plug this in, and so we get zero is equal to c times by cosec of pi over 4, because obviously if I have square a square root, I'm going to end up with just the thing inside the square root, minus cot of pi over 4. And these are both values which are relatively easy. Put them in a calculator, whatever you want. So we get 0 is equal to root 2 c minus 1. And rearranging that, we get c is equal to 1 over root 2. And so our particular solution is going to be y equals 1 over root 2 lots of cosec of x squared minus cot of x squared. And there you go. That's an example of finding a particular solution using the method we've been covering in the last couple of videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.